I'm realizing it's been a while since I did a thrift haul, and I've got some new summer pieces I want to share. So here we go. Hello, I'm Kristen from Kristen Kane Style. Welcome. I'm thrilled that you are here. It has been a while since I have shared a thrift haul, and I realized that I actually have a bunch of new pieces, new to me pieces, that I want to share with you. And so I'm going to do that today. I um, am sharing mostly summer wear, and it's a little late in the season. And the reason that I'm only sharing it now is because our season, our summer season this year was very, very late. We had a lot of cold, wet days in June, and I was starting to wonder if I would ever actually get to wear all the amazing summer things that I was thrifting. And it is finally, you know, really full on summer, and I am hopeful that the warm weather will continue into October, which it usually does. So I will have a chance to wear all of these pieces. I have worn many of them. I think I've worn most of them. Um, some of the dresses, maybe not, but that's more me than it is the weather. Anyway, I want to share with you. And as always, I share my thrift hauls just because I want you to understand that there is great merchandise out there. I have a couple of fabulous thrift stores near me. They get amazing merchandise. They are always fully stocked. They are pretty organized and they have great prices. So I know that that is a special circumstance in some cases. Some people don't have that access you know, to great thrift shops. And a lot of these pieces were from my very local neighborhood thrift shops that are not all that great, that are never very organized, um, where I have just landed on really great pieces. So don't think that you have to have some top-notch thrift store in order to find gold because it is out there. You just need to be willing to look. I also have a couple of pieces that are not thrifted that I'm going to share because I've purchased them recently and if you want to grab them, you probably still can. And know that if you follow me at all, you realize that I am never trying to influence you to buy anything. I believe in buying fewer, better pieces and in thrifting most of our wardrobes if possible using you know, secondhand shops and thrift shops um, and or online uh, spots like Poshmark or The Real Real to bring in really amazing merchandise. So uh, before we go on, I just wanna introduce myself in case this is the very first time you have landed on my channel. My name is Kristen Kane and I am a style and mindset coach. And what that means is that I do all the style stuff when I work one-on-one -on -one with clients and help them edit out their wardrobe and identify their style and learn to build a fabulous functional wardrobe filled with clothing that they absolutely love wearing and how to build outfits and all of that. And I also address the mindset of style and of clothing and of wardrobes, because if we don't look at that, we're not really getting to the root of the problem. And so we can make new outfits, but if we haven't addressed what's going on in your mind, if we're only looking at the clothing and not looking at your thoughts and your feelings behind it, we're not really solving the problem. And in short term or long term, the problem just surfaces again. And you realize that, okay, well, we made all those great outfits, but we haven't actually fixed it. Or you, worse, think that it's you, think that there's something wrong with you and that you can't fix it, and that is actually not true. It's what's happening in your mind that is creating the result in your closet, and it is my favorite thing ever to work with clients one-on-one -on -one and help them identify what's going on in their heads so that they can have a wardrobe that they actually love wearing, that truly lights them up, that makes it easy and effortless to get dressed and get on with their lives. So if you're interested in learning more about working with me one-on-one, -on -one, Style Therapy is my signature program, and there are details linked down below. I offer a one-hour consult call. That consult call will um, provide you with really clear information on what is going on in your own situation, where you are truly getting tripped up, because often what you think the problem is is not exactly what the problem is. And so the consult call takes you through an exercise where we can really identify what's going on and what the problem is so that it's easier to solve whether you choose to work with me and help have me help you solve it or whether you choose to solve it on your own, you come away from the consult call with much more clarity about what's going on in your style. Okay, let's get to the thrifting. So first, this is the same tank top that I wear every time I do a thrift haul because it's easy to put things on over. It is from Target. It, I think they still have it, it's a new day. They, it kind of comes and goes, but usually they reintroduce it at the beginning of each season, sometimes in different colors. I have it in a couple colors. I love it as an underpiece. Uh, and then I have on a new, um, recent from Old Navy pair of linen pants. If you have watched other videos of mine, you know that I am a big believer in linen pants in the summer. I don't really wear shorts all that much except for kind of kicking around at my house. And so linen pants are kind of my go-to when it's too hot for jeans and when I don't feel like wearing a dress or a skirt, which is often. Um, 
And so these linen pants I have in a couple colors now, they still have them at Old Navy. I think they make a cropped version too. I just happen to like the flowiness of the longer version. They are not outrageously expensive. They wash really well. I'm super happy with them. So this was the color that I bought this year. So these are not new and this is um, also not thrifted. I did buy this at Target you know, probably two years ago. Okay, I'm just gonna run through these things. I am gonna try some of them on. I'm not gonna try every single thing on, but I will hold it up so you can see it. If you have any questions about the things that I share, just drop them in the comments below and I will answer as I can. I will say that even when it's a thrifted piece, I can often share information that will allow you to find it, you know, the brand and that sort of thing, that will allow you to find it on Poshmark or some other resale um, site and or the brand itself might give you a clue as to what to look for. Some of these brands are certainly, you know, common household names, and some of them are just old enough that you might not know how great their merchandise can be now because it's pretty vintage at this point. So, uh, okay, first thing, I can't remember if I'm starting off with one I may have already shared, and if so, I apologize. Can't remember if I shared this. This is Diletta Old Anthro. I don't even know if Anthropology does Diletta anymore since I don't work there anymore. It has little pleats down the back and pleats in the front. I had this top in navy at some point already. I already owned it in navy and then I wore it enough that it wore out and needed to be um, donated. And so I found it for a very low price recently and decided I was gonna purchase it again. So it's just, it, it's a little bit longer in the back than the front, which I don't mind. I usually front tuck it. It's just a great navy tank top. So if I've showed this one before, I apologize, but that one was thrifted more recently. So this one has a little bit of a story to it, which I will share. I am going to shamelessly plug my son Peter's band, Theoretical Blonde. Uh, they are based in Salt Lake City, and as a graduation present to him when he just graduated from the University of Utah, uh, Greta and I thrifted about 40 t-shirts, lots of white and then a few different colors, and we went to Michael's and we bought iron-on at home, decal, um, a decal kit, and then we printed out his logo on the iron-ons, and we, well, we washed all the shirts, and then we carefully ironed the iron-on onto each shirt, and I gave them to Peter as a graduation present so that he could give them out uh, to the folks who are supporting him on a regular basis when he and Theoretical Blonde play in the Salt Lake area. So um, if you are interested in bluegrass music, they are exceptionally good. Uh, yes, I'm his mom, and I would probably say that anyway, but they really truly are exceptionally good. They have an Instagram, Theoretical Blonde. Okay, so this t-shirt I actually really love. I cut it because it was a little too long because it's a men's, um, I think it's a Hanes, yeah, it's a Hanes t-shirt that we just bought at Goodwill or Salvation Army as part of this Iron On project. And so I cut off the bottom so it's a little shorter for me and I front tuck it when I wear it. I've worn this a lot, I actually really love it. This is another recently thrifted graphic tee. I kind of cleaned out all my graphic tees after I finished working in Anthropology because I wore them a lot there because Anthro sells a lot of them, great ones, and I would wear it with a little blazer and a pair of jeans. And then when I wasn't working there, I just wasn't wearing them as much and mine were looking kind of ratty, so I cleared out a bunch of them. And as you will see, I have a few new ones now and I'm happy about it. I love a great graphic tee. I love it with a cardigan or with a blazer and a pair of jeans or a pair of trousers. This one I thrifted actually when we were in Salt Lake City for Peter's graduation. It's a folklore t-shirt. I had the pleasure very recently of seeing Taylor Swift in concert with Greta. Thank you, Greta, for making that happen. Um, I am a Swifty. I'm a fan through and through. I diligently studied the set list so that I could be prepared. Obviously, I've been listening to Taylor Swift since Greta was a little girl, but I didn't really understand the magnitude of this woman as a performer. Um, it was exceptional, truly exceptional. Uh, so I can wear my folklore t-shirt with a little blazer or a little cardigan and be very happy. And then this one's also thrifted. It's just a Madewell white t-shirt. I was in need of some new basics for summer. And so this little crew neck white t-shirt, it's got a good sleeve length for me. It's not too long. Um, and it's just easy to wear by itself with a pair of jeans or a pair of pants and also layered um, very easily. Speaking of Taylor Swift, Greta bought me a t-shirt while we were there. So I have washed it um, and it shrunk just enough. So, it, and it's really soft uh, and it just makes me happy because why not? And so I haven't worn it like with a black blazer and jeans yet, but I will. And then I bought two new t-shirts this year. Um, I bought them, you know, from Old Navy, brand new. I really love this lavender. I've worn this a few times with a cream sweater and have been really happy with it. And I don't really have anything this color in my wardrobe except for this. So a little lavender t-shirt and a little white v-neck t-shirt. 
I think they were about $6 on sale the day that I purchased them. So they certainly were not high-end new pieces, but they were new to me because I was in need of a couple new t-shirts and I like, yeah, I like a great white t-shirt. I like that this one was V-neck where the Madewell one is crew and I really like the lavender. This is another thrifted t-shirt. This is J. Crew. Uh, I purchased a similar one from Target. Well, I purchased a similar one thrifted. It was originally from Target that is universal thread, similar color. And I almost didn't buy this one when I saw it. Uh, and yet it has a pocket. The other one doesn't. It's a little bit of a different blue. I wear so much blue all year long that I figured, you know, for the price that this was thrifted, a great blue, another great blue t-shirt was not going to be the end of the world. This one I just recently thrifted. It's Ella Moss and it says Joy. And my kids think it's a little corny that I wear graphic t-shirts and I don't care. They make me happy. The one with Joy written on it makes me happy. I like the simplicity of it. I like the color. I like the kind of cropped nature of it. I, I really, I only buy things I absolutely love. And as much as this is corny, when I saw it, I thought I have to have that. It's my colors and uh, it will be great with a sweater or a blazer over it. And it's also great by itself. This one you may have seen on me in a in an Instagram live um, because I have worn it. It is LL Bean. It is several sizes larger than what I would normally buy if I were buying it brand new, you know, off the rack. Probably at least back in the day when I really wore my size. This one is larger and the darts are a little lower than actually really fit my body. And sometimes that bugs me. This one, it just did not. This has a very old um, Banana Republic feel to me. If you've been around a while and shopped at Banana Republic for long, you may remember when they used to have kind of the big uh, safari trucks and Jeeps in their stores. And they had the great graphic tees that would have animals all over them and they came out um, they sort of had a special release or they were limited time only and it would be you know, a big lion or a, a giraffe or an elephant and then when that one was gone, you couldn't get it anymore. My love for graphic tees goes way, way back because I used to love buying those. Anyway, it kind of has that um, out of Africa, like that vibe, especially with these pants. So I have worn this one a lot, even though it is real sheer, I usually just wear it with a nude bra because I don't mind that it's a little bit sheer, but it just feels Good. It's really lightweight. It's really cool and comfortable when the weather is warm, but it still gives me some coverage if I'm going to be inside in air conditioning. And so uh, this one, though it probably is a little too big for me, I am pretty happy with it because I, I just like the way it feels. Uh, it's 100% cotton and I like the little pleating down the front, kind of the tuxedo pleating. This one's just been a favorite already. This one I almost didn't buy. This is thrifted also. It is universal thread. This one kind of felt like pajamas in a good way. And it's gauze. It's that kind of very popular gauzy fabric. And it feels a little pajama-y and yet, I, I don't know, I couldn't pass it up. I, I like pink in the summer. I don't wear a ton of pink all year long, but I really like pink in the summer. I like how soft and comfortable it is. I like how easy it is to pair with jeans or with cream pants or white pants or, you know, kind of any bottom. And it just feels like summer. It feels happy and fun. And as I said, spring was very long and wet and cold and the beginning of summer was pretty cold and dark and gray and not blue sky, sunny uh, situation that I really like. And so this felt happy and felt um, like the right season. This one is from Madewell. And again, this is not a color I gravitate towards often. It is also gauze. It's not quite as thick as the other one, but I just, I, I kind of hesitated, uh, do I need it? And then I just thought, I love it. So this one is great with jeans. It's great with just creamy pants. Um, these kind of linen oatmeal, whatever you want to call, it, call them color. Uh, it is different than my wheelhouse because as you can tell, with the exception of this one and this one, I'm pretty much creams and blues as I am all year. The grays kind of come out in the summer because they don't feel quite as cheery and happy. Um, not that navy and cream are white or cheery and happy, but the lavender, I guess, is a little cheery and happy. But I usually pull out the, I don't do much gray in the summer. I do more navy and white. Uh, but this, I don't know, I was really thrilled with the find here for Madewell. And let's see what's next. The next one is blue linen and it is from, I think, L.L. Bean also. Yes, this one's L.L. Bean also. 
Greta tends to wear these amazing oversized linen shirts all summer and she looks effortless and chic and fabulous. So I'm always trying to get a little of that for myself. So this one I washed and I have ironed it. So it's pretty stiff because I haven't worn it since I ironed it. Um, and I like ironed linen and then I like it to get kind of crumply on its own. So this one has not gotten crumply yet, but it just, and most of these thrifted things, I'm gonna say all of the thrifted things that I'm showing you were definitely under $10 and most of them were under $7. So while I have lots of new pieces, the investment is less than one piece at Anthropology. If I were to choose to buy one piece full price, you know, all of these things would be the price of one t-shirt at Anthropology for $78 or whatever. So um, I, I really like kind of bringing in pieces that maybe full price I would not have chosen to purchase, but because I really love them. And, and that said, the pieces that I wear often, like the things that I've already shown you, I would pay full price for them because I have proven that I act, you know, like they have earned their place in my wardrobe because they are pieces that I actually light up when I wear. Occasionally I will thrift a piece because it's a great price and I think it has good potential and then it doesn't work out to be as great as I thought. So I usually sell it on Poshmark or I donate it um, or I give it to Greta if it's something that, you know, she was had her eye on. But this I'm looking forward to wearing often and I just need to kind of crumple it up a little bit because right now it just feels a little bit um, too ironed for me. And then the next one, I've worn this one several times. You might've seen this on a live also. This is J. Crew, and I had given all of my um, chambray away. I had either sold it or donated it because it just wasn't lighting me up anymore. And this one, because it is so, it's like featherweight. It's so soft and so light. And I liked how dark it was. I liked the almost naviness of it. And it just hangs really soft. It feels really good. I like the detail of it. It didn't feel too, I'm not great in a collared shirt. As you can see from the other blouses that I've shown, I am much more drawn on me to a collarless blouse. And so this one I love because it's so classic, but oftentimes I don't want that classic collared blouse in all of my tops. I am more, as I said, um, more drawn to the ones that don't have a collar. So this one uh, from L.L. Bean, just, I really love it. It's almost, I mean, it's not sheer to see through, but the fabric is really, really lightweight, which is great for this time of year. And now onto the sweaters. <laughs> if you know me, you know that cream sweaters are my downfall. When I thrift, it's one of the first places that I go. It's either Levi's or cream sweaters, one or the other. This one I recently purchased and love. So this is Villager, which was a Liz, Liz Claiborne um, company, part of the Liz Claiborne company ages ago. So I don't know how old this sweater is, but it has been around a long time. And yet, how can you argue with this? It is about as great as a cream sweater gets. Um, I love the cable. I love the wider crew neck that doesn't come up too high. Sometimes that feels a little nerdy on me. I love the fact that kind of accidentally it has sort of this a little bit balloon, you know, wider sleeve. It's 100% cotton. It washed really well. Uh, it's great with jeans. It's not too long, so it's a really good length for both high rise and, you know, a little bit more mid-rise pants. Thrilled with this one. Not sure that I needed another one in my collection, and I'm still thrilled with it. <laughs> uh, okay, next one. Another. Uh, Cream sweater. This one's Jones, New York. So again, Villager, Jones, New York. If you're someone whose style tends to be similar to mine, really classic pieces can be found for a song because for like old Ralph Lauren can sometimes still be a little bit pricey if it's in a resale store, but Villager and um, Jones, New York are usually kind of tired and dated and no one really wants them. So they're just there for pennies. Another great cream sweater. I mean, really, I, I, can't, I kind of feel like I've got this little capsule going with these pants and I could just keep changing, you know, the tops and uh, be good to go. So, which is my goal always that really everything in my wardrobe goes with everything else, that I can grab any top and put it on with any pair of pants or any bottom and have it work. So, and that's not only a color thing, that is also kind of the, the shape of the pieces. I want my sweaters and tops to hit at a place where I can front tuck easily, where I don't have too much. Sometimes in the summer when I'm wearing flowy pants, I'm happy to have a little bit more in the back on the blouse, you know, kind of hang a little longer. And often if it feels too long, I didn't do it with any of these, but I have been known to shorten a blouse to just hem it, kind of decide how long I want it and chop it off and fold it under and hem it. 
so that it hits me kind of at that sweet spot that I really like. This one you may also have seen on a live. This is Ralph Lauren. I don't think it gets better than a Ralph Lauren tennis sweater with this kind of baby blue periwinkle stripe. I mean, come on. Um, when I saw this, I knew that it was going to be mine before I even pulled it over my head. I thought there's just not a chance that that sweater isn't going home with me. So this one I have worn a lot already. I, it is thick and yummy and fabulous. And thankfully it usually cools off in the evening so that I do need a sweater if I'm outside. It's not sticky and humid here at my house. So I am really blessed to be able to still wear a warm um, or a heavier cotton sweater throughout the summer. And then the next one uh, was a little bit of a surprise for me. I wasn't sure I was gonna love it. And then when I put it on, I, I did. <laughs> so it's not cream. It is more of a blush color. And this one is Brandy Melville. So Brandy Melville is really a um, junior's brand, I'm gonna say. They are definitely geared towards, you know, cute young teenagers and early 20 somethings. So their stuff is usually a little more cropped and a little more um, exaggerated and youthful. So the V is a little bit deeper. The sweater is definitely a little cropped. It is oversized. It's not my normal straight size. It's up a couple of sizes from that. I thrifted this and I love the blushness of it. I love that it is kind of creamy, but has that little blush hue to it. And I love that I can wear it with these pants. I should probably have gotten three pairs of these pants so I can just keep rotating. It's also great with jeans. This one I have worn a few times also. Uh, I just really like the color and the softness and the weight of the cable. So as you can see already, if you, you know, are new here or if you have been watching for a long time, I stick to what I love. I do not mess around like this is kind of rogue for me, but it's gauze, it's cotton, it's a pretty pink, it's happy, it's one. You know, there, I don't have a dozen of these that then it becomes difficult to know what am I gonna wear with it, what shoes am I gonna put with it, how am I gonna make it work. Most of my clothing is solid colored or um, has a graphic on it or I don't even have any, oh, I have a striped dress coming up. Sometimes it's a stripe that I will do, but I usually rely on the details of the piece to be what's interesting and have the pattern be kind of non-existent because I like the cable or this open weave with the cable being the pattern and having the garment actually be solid color. Then I was in need of a new blue cardigan, a navy cardigan. I had gotten rid of a couple that were just, that I had thrifted but were looking kind of ratty. And so this one, oops, I forgot to look. This one is Eddie Bauer. And again, it's a little bit um, bigger than I would probably have purchased in the day when I really purchased my size, but everything is so much more effortless and, and sizes have changed. You know, I tried on something recently, I can't remember what it was, and it was, a, a much set like maybe six sizes larger than what I normally wear and it fit me perfectly it almost was too small and it was from probably two or three decades ago and so I think the piece was old enough that it would, would have been on the on the shelves retail two or three decades ago and it really made me remember and realize how different the sizing is now so if you are thrifting and you are trying on things that are larger than what you are normally purchasing don't let that freak you out. I know sometimes that number or that size letter gets women really freaked out. Don't let it. If you love a piece, pay no attention to the size. Sizes have changed what used to be, you know, a large is now an extra small in a lot of cases because we have shifted and reframed the way we do women's sizing um, or manufacturers have switched the way they do women's sizing. So don't let the size freak you out. None of these, all of these things are different sizes. Honestly, if I told you the sizes, you would be surprised that they are all hanging in the closet and they all fit the same person because um, sizes have changed. So anyway, I, over, I like that this is oversized. In my regular size, I probably wouldn't have loved this so much. I like it buttoned up as a little top, but I also like it open. Um, I took this to the Taylor Swift concert to wear over my navy blue midnight's dress that I thrifted also. Uh, however, I didn't end up needing it because it was a really beautiful night and um, it was just the right temperature and I was jumping around and dancing and singing enough that I was not cold. And then, of course, I needed a v-neck. Um, so this one is a little brighter blue. It's not quite as navy, um, not quite as dark a navy, I guess. And it is a v-neck, so I can obviously wear it open. And it's a little more cropped, a little more boxy, um, so I can wear it open or I can button it up. And 
This one I have not worn yet. This is a relatively recent find. I have washed it, but I haven't worn it yet. And I'm really feeling like these pants are gonna be the only pants I wear until it's too cold for them. Um, all right, and this one, I have no idea who made this one. This one is D and Co. Don't even know who that brand is. Um, but I am glad that they made this sweater because it's really soft. This is a sleeper one in here thrown in. It's dark gray and it's cashmere. And I purchased it recently, so I'm including it in this, even though I probably will not wear it until it gets cold out. Again, another um, cardigan, crew neck. I can wear it buttoned up as a little top, or I can unbutton it and wear it as a true cardigan open. Uh, I like that it is pretty tight around the waist so that it sits and kind of blouses instead of hanging long. And that means that I don't even actually have to front tuck it to kind of get that same look. And it is 100% cashmere and just a little bit heathered and super fabulous. So this one I won't wear soon, but when it gets cold, I'll be thrilled I have it when the gray comes back out. And then two skirts. So I am not a big skirt person. I love a skirt on other women. I love the kind of flirtiness of a skirt. And yet I struggle with skirts. I just, I don't wear them very often. In the summer, I like to have a skirt or two. I have eliminated the other skirts that I own. And when I found these two, I decided it was time. So I will try these on so that you can see them. The first one is navy blue from Inc. Um, from International Concepts. Uh, I think Macy's usually has them. I did just run this up. I put a dart in it on both sides in the back. I just ran it up on the sewing machine uh, because it was a little too big and it was kind of slipping. I wanted it on my hips, but it was a little too low on my hips. I'm gonna try it on so you can see. And I have not ironed this one. So I purchased a skirt that was knit, that was pleated, navy blue. It was fabulous. It was very old. It didn't even have a tag in it. It was about $2.50. And when I washed it, the pleats all came out. I thought that they were, um, it, was, I don't, it was acrylic. So I thought that they were kind of permanently creased in there. And then when I washed it and took it out, it, the, the pleats were all gone. And it was very misshapen and it was kind of sad. But it wasn't really worth dry cleaning, so I'm not sorry that that happened. I mean, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. So I donated that one. And when I saw this one, this one is just cotton. It has sort of an under slip skirt that's cotton also. And then the top is um, just a little bit flouncy. And it's just great with a pair of sneakers and a little t-shirt when it's really hot. And I, like I said, I don't really wear shorts. So this is cooler than linen pants probably. And just gives me a little bit more kind of flow and, and fun. I did not iron it which is unusual for me, but I just twisted it when I let it dry so that it would have a little bit of kind of its own pleating in there. So it's pretty crinkly, but I'm okay with that because it's a summer skirt and I'm not wearing it any fa anywhere fancy. And I think it's gonna be great. And then this one is kind of a similar version. It's J. Crew. I'll try this one. It has a side zipper. It is much longer, as you can see, and has um, a little bit of um, the cutout detail. I believe in the olden days this was called faggoting. It's just sort of a pretty stitch. It's often on the edge of sheets or of um, napkins, old school like linen napkins. Anyway, um, this one I like too. Just flowy. It doesn't have pockets, which is totally fine. Um, it's just flowy. It feels like a vacation. Little sneakers and a t-shirt, little sandals. Uh, I could even wear this one out to dinner with some sort of a pretty top. So uh, those are the skirts. Now I have some dresses, which it has just gotten hot enough that it's really time for dresses. So. This one I thrifted with Greta at one of the not so great thrift stores. And I tried it on and I thought, I actually think that that's fabulous. So I think I'm gonna need that one. So I'm gonna try this one on so that you can see it. It is from Zara. I took off the tank top. I do have it on with the bra. I did this year for the first time ever buy the Nippies nipple covers that are sticky and they are great because they allow me to wear something like this with no bra. Not that I couldn't wear it with no bra anyway, but just feels a little more finished with these nipple with the nipple covers on. I don't have them on right now. I have the bra on that I had on, um, but I probably wouldn't wear it with the bra just because the straps are kind of in a weird place for how wide these straps are. But this just felt really sweet and really summery and really comfortable, and it was under five dollars. And like I said, it's from Zara, um, and you know me in a blue and white stripe. So this one I had to bring home, and I haven't worn this one yet, but I am looking very forward to it. It's about it's time. The next one is from World Market, actually, and was also thrifted. I'll slip this one on. This one again, summer happy. 
I, sometimes I just need things that are easy, cool, comfortable, like a good old fashioned kind of house dress, you know? Just put it on when it's really sweltering hot and you can just feel comfortable but still feel chic. I can put it on with sneakers or with flip flops or with sandals or bare feet, depending on the occasion. Um, like I said, it's from World Market. I thrifted it, it was under $5. It washed beautifully. It's like a nice, thick, um, almost like a, what would I call this? I guess it's Oxford. Is that what it is? It just wasn't coming to me um, because I don't really wear Oxford shirts anymore and neither do any of my people. Uh, however, it is Oxford and so it's just a really nice weight. It feels comfortable. It feels like I'm kind of wearing nothing and I'm happy about this one. The next one, this one I think is loft and I'm not a huge chambray dress person. I think they can tend to look kind of frumpy and dated. We sold a lot of them at Anthro of all different varieties, cloth and stone and Pilcro were kind of the two favorites probably. Loft has made them and Ann Taylor has made them for many, many years. Um, sometimes I think they look a little tired and a little frumpy. And this one might look a little tired and frumpy on me. I'm gonna try it on for you. But I haven't had one in a really long time and something about this one just felt really effortless and chic and I am pretending I'm sort of a French girl going to the market in it. So if it's frumpy, don't tell me. When I thrift, might be a little frumpy, but I don't care, it's comfortable. It does not have pockets. <laughs> I thought it did. It does not have pockets, which actually, I now remember when I purchased it, I like that because sometimes the pockets just add more lump and bulk and they don't, if they're not ironed flat, they're weird underneath. So this one, I like the fact that it doesn't have pockets and it's just got a little swing. It's a little short for what I would normally wear out in the world. However, when it's the middle of summer and it is hot, this is just an easy effortless dress to put on. I had something kind of similar that was gauze and gray from Target from many years ago, pre-pandemic. And then I wore it a lot during the pandemic and it just had to go. I was tired of looking at it. And so this one is kind of the replacement, even though it's a very different color, it's got that same vibe and it's super soft and comfortable. The next thing I'm going to share is uh, if you saw on my, if you get my email, months and months ago, back in May, I um, shared a pair of pants that I purchased full price. They are Alex Mills, they are fabulous. I am going to be completely honest and share that I have never worn them out of my house because every time I put them on, I'm getting dressed to go somewhere. All of my tops are a little bit too long for these pants because these pants are very high rise. I still love them, so I'm determined to make them work. I just haven't actually worn them and I need to just challenge myself to do that, but I'm gonna try them on for you so you can see. They're fabulous. They are a cotton and linen blend. They are super comfortable. They're so soft. I love how kind of oversized and flowy and fluid they are the rise is really high. And so usually when I put something on, I have almost left the house in them with something tucked all the way in. And then I decided that for whatever the occasion was, I just didn't want that. They're not too tight, they're not too high. I can sit down, I, can, I could eat in them, I, they're comfortable, I just haven't worn them. And I, when I, if I'm gonna buy something full price, these were not inexpensive pants, if I'm gonna buy something full price, I love it when I buy it. And for some reason, these just have not been better than jeans or other things that I could put on. I think every time I've gone to wear them, I've ended up wearing jeans. So I say this because if you're someone who's really happiest in something, be mindful of the fact that you might have trouble getting out of that groove. For me, it's jeans. So I love blue jeans. And something has to be really fabulous or the occasion has to be exactly right where I can't wear blue jeans and I need to put on something different. And I haven't had that yet because the occasions where I chose to wear blue jeans instead of these pants, they weren't dressy enough that blue jeans weren't okay. And I felt more like myself in blue jeans. When I put these pants on with a top that I could normally wear with jeans, like not even necessarily this one because it's blue and I may or may not wear it with jeans. Let's pretend it's with this one. It just feels too finished. There's none of that high-low kind of contrast to the outfit. And I would wear a belt with it, whether I would wear just a solid belt or a leopard belt, which I'm prone to do pretty much all the time. It just felt a little too formal and a little too finished and a little too fancy. And it seemed that most of the time I went to wear these pants, I was going somewhere where I needed to be a little dressed up, this one would be better because it doesn't have the collar. It's a little bit of a softer fabric. I like the contrast of the colors a little better. 
and this top is actually a little bit shorter so this one probably would have worked although i don't know if i even tried this or if i had given up before then um, but i'm almost better to put the pants on with something like a taylor swift t-shirt even though the taylor swift t-shirt is definitely too long so that it makes the pants more casual it kind of gives that um, high low effect or that contrast of something really casual with something that's a little more fitted and formal and dressy and traditional so my challenge to myself is to get these pants on my body and to actually wear them because they are comfortable i like the way they fit i like the way they feel i just haven't actually worn them i do have one other pair that you're going to say look very similar because they do these i thrifted these are american eagle i'm going to try these on now i have worn these many times i bought these i had these on actually the day i bought these pants and these just have a much more casual you know kind of boyfriend vibe where these I would wear to something a little fancier, but as you can tell, I don't go to anything fancier because the times I could have worn these, I ended up wearing jeans. I'm gonna try these on. These, we kind of joked because my boys probably owned these pants um, back when they were younger and shopped at American Eagle. Um, so I put on, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I order from Amazon a pack of buttons that you can screw on. They literally have a screw that goes through the back and a little tiny screwdriver, like an eyeglasses screwdriver, and the buttons come in several different colors and you can make pants tighter that without having any alteration. So the original button is still right next to the button that I put on. It just allows me to, I usually wear a belt anyway, I just didn't bring a belt out here. Um, it allows me to wear them and not have them be way too baggy in the top. And they're very menswear. I roll them, I usually wear them cuffed or rolled. They're slouchy. I actually have worn them on the airplane. They're really comfortable. They're just more my jam than the pleated dressier ones. So I need to lean into those because I'm, I'm determined to wear those. I'm not returning them, I can't return them, and I don't wanna return them, I wanna wear them. So these are super comfy. Again, these will go with all the things that went with the linen pants. These will work just as well. They will also go with the Alex Mills pants that are the more expensive pair that I haven't worn yet. So now I'm going to, I'll put on these couple blazers because though it's summer and I'm not wearing many blazers, I found this great new day. Um, linen blazer uh, thrifted. I think I tried this on at Target and then didn't purchase it. Um, but when I found it thrifted for about $4, I decided, now this is obviously super preppy, but I could put this on with a little t-shirt and a little pair of sneakers and be perfectly happy. Um, so it's just a linen blend and I actually washed this in the washing machine when I got it home because the tag said that I could wash it. And Greta recently, um, maybe a few months ago now, shared with me that Things like coats and blazers can be washed sometimes and to check the tag. And so I checked the tag, it said it could be washed. I washed it and then I steamed it, ironed it a little bit where the steamer didn't quite do the job and i um, super happy with this one. And I still love a blazer and jeans with a t-shirt or a tank top to go out in the evening in the summer. And this one is Ann Taylor. It is also linen. Uh, I have a double breasted cream blazer. It's creamier. This one's a little lighter from H&M from many years ago that I actually do still love and wear. Uh, I just put that one away for the summer because this linen one has a summerier vibe and I just really like kind of the oversized slouchy boyfriend. Again, this is not the size that I would traditionally be in an Ann Taylor blazer and that was intentional. I, I mean, I thrifted it so I didn't have a lot of choices for size, but I purposely picked it because I like the slouchy oversized nature of it and I like it with pants and with jeans. So I'm happy to have a couple of blazers in my closet in the summer because when I do go out to an occasion or out to dinner or something like that, I like to have a jacket on with a top or a blouse or a t-shirt or something so that I can take the jacket off if it's too warm, but that I have the jacket when the sun goes down or when I'm inside air conditioning or when I want it just to feel a little more crisp and finished. Um, now the next thing, last thing, actually, hold on. I'm gonna try on some jeans because Greta found me two pairs of the absolute best Levi's I probably have ever had. I think it maybe tips my count over 15 pairs currently, which is embarrassing, and yet I don't care because I love Levi's, and as you have heard, I wear them all the time. Uh, first, I wanna show you a couple pairs of shoes that I recently thrifted. So these are fabulous Tiger sneakers. So I was ready for a new pair of white sneakers. I had been wearing Greta's Hand Me Down Vejas for a while, and white Converse, white canvas Converse that I've had forever low top and love those and just didn't want to buy another pair. I thought I needed a pair of white sneakers, but I kind of want something different. And then we were thrifting one day and I had had a pair of 
yellow, believe it or not, because I rarely wear yellow, a pair of yellow tigers with green, with the green logo years ago. We bought them in Germany when we were there for a family wedding. I love those shoes hard and I no longer have them and it's fine because yellow and green don't really go with my wardrobe, but the black and white ones do. So they are fabulous. Greta wanted a pair of these. We are the same shoe size. I felt bad that I found them first and yet I purchased them and love them. She just recently bought a pair that are red and navy on the side. They're white with the red and navy logo. She bought them on Poshmark. So they are out there um, if it's something that you are interested in, but I really love these. They're super comfy. And then the other thing I bought on the same day, it was a good shoe thrifting day, are these. Kind of a Chanel knockoff. I did an internship with Ann Taylor in college. I think I've mentioned here that I was the very first intern that Ann Taylor ever had as a college student. And these are Joan and David. So when I worked at Ann Taylor, Joan and David was a high-end luxury shoe brand that Ann Taylor carried. Um, and so these are Joan and David. They were made in Italy. They are just the most comfortable. They feel like slippers. They are just so comfortable and they make me so happy. My foot does not actually fit in a Chanel ballet flat like this. When I worked at Neiman Marcus, I felt a little bit like the stepsisters in Cinderella because more than once I would go to the shoe salon and I would try on the Chanel loafers dreaming of maybe buying them with my discount one day and I have a size 10 foot I have a healthy size 10 foot and so uh, I just they just don't fit me um, and so I didn't ever buy the Chanel loafers but these are sort of my um, version of those and they're great with these pants they're great with jeans they're great with the linen pants they dress up something that's really simple and casual like a pair of jeans and a um, concert tee and a blazer uh, these are a nice finisher and I've worn them several times now I'm gonna try on the Levi's. Levi's 501s. I have been looking for pale blue Levi's 501s for probably two years. I found one pair that I think I've shown here that were kind of cropped and frayed. They were just really too big. Every time I wore them, they just felt really sloppy. I don't have enough of a seat for them. Like Levi's look great with a butt and I used to have a butt, but my I don't have as much of a butt as I've aged. And so um, I was really struggling. And the other day when Greta was when Greta and I were thrifting, she grabbed three pair and brought them to me and they were all the same size. They were all hanging next to each other. She was like, mom, I think you should try these on. And so I did, one pair was notably bigger even though they were all the same size. One pair was notably bigger, so I left that pair for someone else and I purchased two pair. They were $6.99 each. They are perfectly broken in, button fly, classic Levi 501s. I really, truly just don't know what I did to deserve this loveliness because as I said, I have wanted these for so long and it was kind of a case of I'd given up. I just decided, you know what, I have a huge collection of really amazing Levi's. I love them. At some point I will find the perfect pale pair and that will be great. But until then, I'm just going to relax and I'm going to love the Levi's I have. And then they appear. I'm going to try on the second pair. The second pair, while they are the exact same size, these, as you can see, are a little bit looser. They have a little bit of a fray at the hem, which I think I'll just leave them this length for now and enjoy that fray and then maybe choose to crop them later and let them kind of refringe. Um, I would wear a belt with these. I always wear a belt. I just didn't bring one out, as I said. And I haven't put on a second button, but I could do that just so the waist would sit a little bit tighter. So these are definitely a little slouchier, a little roomier in the seat. As I said, they're the exact same size, so it shows that you just really need to try things on because I would not have known which pair would fit the best. And the third pair, were the same size again, but they were much bigger even than these. So I could not be more thrilled with the new Levi's. Thank you, Greta, thank you, Greta. Um, and these were $6.99 also. So for under 15 bucks, I had, I now have two pairs, perfect pairs of pale blue denim 501s and I'm thrilled with them. So um, that's all I got for today. That is the thrift haul. I, uh, I have not worn all of these pieces yet. I've worn a lot of them. I've worn more of the long sleeved kind of cooler weather pieces because as I said, it's just kind of gotten warm enough for the really hot you know, weather pieces. So I'm gonna work my way through these and enjoy them before it gets cold and it starts to snow, uh, which I'm hoping will not be until late November at the very earliest. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these pieces, and you know, if I can help you locate these pieces in any way, I would be happy to. Um, and if you found something recently that you just absolutely love, like I love these pieces, please share down below. I love to read your comments. Sometimes it takes me a little bit to get back to them, but I always read them and I always try to respond and I am the one responding. So please thank you for your patience. Um, 
just know that I love reading your finds and, and the stories that you share about how thrilled you are when you thrift something or the questions that you have. If you're struggling with how to make thrifting work for you or how to make shopping for you, work for you or how to get yourself into the pair of pants that you recently purchased full price and you haven't worn out of your house yet, um, I might not be a whole lot of help with that because I haven't worn mine yet. Um, however, I am going to wear them and then I will be happy to share how I made that work. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you have a beautiful week. If you are interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, Style Therapy, again, is my signature program. That's how we do that. It can be done online or in person, and it's, it works. My clients get the results that they are looking for in their closet, and I am always thrilled to help them with that journey. So book a consult call, and we can chat and see if it's a good fit for you right now. I am back on Instagram again. I took a little bit of time off. I am happy to be back. I would love to chat with you over there, so come follow along. It's at Kristen Kane Style. Uh, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful week, and I will be back next Friday with a new video. Have a great one. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate the support.